Good morning, everyone, and welcome back to the shop. Today, we ride the puke. Hopefully. I don't know if it's pronounced puke, but I'm gonna pronounce it puke, because that's how I'm feeling today. And the reason I'm feeling that way is because none of these cables that I bought fit right. I ended up having to reuse the old brake cable. Um, I got some NARPs that uh, are making that work. I definitely don't have the cable routing right on it, but whatever. A NARP, for those of you wondering, is one of these things. It goes on the end of the cable and it locks it in place. I'm gonna use those for the front and rear brake because I couldn't find the factory parts for these anywhere that wasn't overseas and would take eight years to get here. Uh, I'm also gonna use those to hopefully shorten the throttle cable because the, in, the inside is just way too long. There's all this extra cable. Somehow nothing I bought for this bike actually fits this bike properly. So I'll have to take this off and straighten that out. I got the intake on the carb and I made a gasket because there was not a gasket before. Isn't it beautiful? I actually used gasket material for that. So, uh, you know, give me some credit. So let me get this off. I think that's a, oh, and I bought some other stuff. Uh, this is the nice one. It's a new exhaust. It was $60 and it's actually a techno. So it's a performance exhaust that looks stock. Love it. So in theory, <clears throat> the way that this works is, just slide this guy on here. So once it's on, lock it in place with the Allen key. Good and tight because safety. Okay, I didn't record hardly any of this because it would have just had to censor the whole thing. None of these cables fit worth a crap for the, I mean, the ends are all wrong, first of all, like that, that is not how that's supposed to look. That is way too small of a ferrule on the end of that brake line. And also the brake line was way too short. So I had to cut down the sheathing and then play this super fun back and forth game of getting it just the right length to where the adjusters would actually work. But hey, the it stopped and I reused the old brake line and put a NARP on that. And so now that works, the throttle line, same thing, endless back and forth, kind of destroyed the, the super cheap throttle housing, um, but that works. Seriously, this throttle is freaking garbage, but uh, yep. So now I have throttle, uh, and then I got the, uh, the filter on there just by you know pushing harder. I took the carp off and put that all on. I uh, got my, my gaskets under there somewhere. And um, yeah. Oh yes, I got a, a new petcock on. Found that, got that put on, so now I can actually hook up a fuel line, except I don't have any fuel line the right size, so now I'm going to O'Reilly's, I guess. And then we can get this guy all put on for hopefully the last time. And then I can start it, and hopefully, if everything goes well, ride it. Oh yeah, the exhaust. I'd like to do the exhaust today but we'll see. With how well everything else has gone, I don't have high hopes. I did, however, get these super nifty nuts for the exhaust. Uh, they're long shanks, so that when I put them on, it's real easy to uh, get to the fastener. Actually, I'm, I'm gonna leave that in there for now. I don't wanna take that out just yet, because who knows what sort of nightmares I'm gonna run into. I mean, look at that. That's, that's welded with the nut on there. Nothing, that new one just has a flange. I don't know, whatever, it's whatever. We'll figure it out. I'm agitated as hell. I just wanna ride this, except it's snowing outside, so I can't really ride it anyway. She purdy. And she'll fit. This should be pretty straightforward, I think. Well, the mounting holes line up really well with uh, nothing. It checks out. Nothing fits on here. Whatever. I want to see if this thing starts.
message right. Okay, I'm gonna sum up what happened last night because I got so frustrated I just kind of stopped recording. Basically, I got this thing ready to go. It would fire up, it would run, and I was ready to go take it for a ride, except um, I, I didn't have a kill switch, and I really figured I needed a kill switch. I was just also so annoyed because, you know, the cables, nothing fit right. The exhaust, it doesn't even remotely match up with the hangar. Just everything is just, uh, nothing, nothing that should work, worked. And then when I went to go add a kill switch, I, as soon as I touched the bundle of wires that was tied up near the headstock, it started shorting the coil to ground and the bike would no longer run. So I spent about an hour troubleshooting the coil grounding issue last night uh, before giving up and I got really annoyed. So I went in and got dinner and then I came out and I just ripped all the wiring out, all of it. This is how the main connection on the bike was made from the factory, I kid you not. So uh, I rewired the whole bike. So by the whole bike, I really just mean the two, maybe three circuits that are actually important. Uh, this is all done with silicone sleeved wire. It's nice and springy springy and uh, does not uh, melt or doesn't melt easily. Uh, there's our ground wire. Oh, hey, I haven't tightened that. I should probably do so. Uh, there's our coil wire. Everything, as you can see, is heat shrunk nicely. Uh, I replaced that nasty connector with a six pin Honda style motorcycle connector. We've got electrical tape and braided loom all throughout. Uh, we've got a couple connectors here for our headlight, and then this disconnects so that I can easily reroute cables. And then we have another harness here to the kill switch. Uh, back is on, and then push. it's easiest to push forward in an emergency, so I made forward be off. So, as a result, it works pretty well. Also, we got a new petcock here, which I left on reserve. I sure hope my float bowl doesn't overflow. That could be a problem if so. Um, and it, it's, it's more or less functional now, I think. And this new exhaust is so nice and quiet compared to the other one. Big fan of that. So let me tighten this, uh, this ground up and then we'll take it for its first ride now that it's done snowing outside. All right, we're just gonna let that warm up for a little bit while I get my helmet on. See if we can get, see if we can get some heat in here. It is pretty chilly outside. Oh wow, there's plenty of fuel in there. Cool beans.
Good thing it's got pedals. That's got to be a carb issue. The question is what specifically? Naturally, as soon as I get home, it, it works perfectly again. So, something weird about the carburation, but hey, just a problem I'll have to figure out. Thanks for watching.